Hey everyone, Shawnee here with Good Expectations Realty. I hope you're doing fantastic. Despite everything that is going on, just take a deep breath. It is all going to be okay, hopefully. <laughs> um, anyway, today I am here to talk about something that I think will interest most buyers. Um, people want to know how long do they have between seeing a house and making a decision about buying it. How long do they have? So that's what we are going to talk about today. All right. Well, um, so in the Ocala market, it is not like some other markets. Like I was watching a video on Facebook not too long ago where there was one house for sale and there were about 75 people outside to see it. And the whole block had um, traffic. Nobody could move around because there was one house for sale in that block. We are not like that, and thank God it is not like that. It was like that some point at some point last year around April, but thank God that changed because I don't think no I don't think anybody likes when the market is like that, really, because it's hard for everyone and even the seller too. I mean some sellers enjoy it, but who wants to have like seventy five offers that you want to choose from? I don't know, but even as a seller, I don't know if I would want that. <laughs> it's more choices, but it's too much. So we are not like that here in Ocala, but we still have limited inventory here as far as like houses for sale. This is why we are selling a lot of um, new construction because as resale, there's not a lot of resale that hit the market. Um, so we have a lot of new construction and even with new construction sometimes, um, you do have to act quicker than usual. What I mean by that is, let's say you're my buyer. We've been looking for houses for a while and you haven't found the one. And then finally, I show you a house that is a resale. Um, and this is the house. It checks all the boxes, everything that you wanted. But for some reason, you don't want to make an offer. You want to sleep on it. <laughs> So when you see a house that you like, just know that you're not the only person who likes a house. So there is at least another person who likes that house. So if you're ready, you're pre-approved. And as your agent already have your pre-approval letter, I hope at that point, and this is the house that you like and you know you're ready, just let me know. And then I'll just write up the, the offer on your behalf and, you know, send it for you to sign. And then we, um, just submit the offer. But some people, they just want to take a day to um, think about it and then another day to sleep on it and then talk, talk some more about it. And then by the time um, they make up their mind, the house is pending. And speaking of pending, some people like to ask, what's the difference between active and pending? So I'll cover that a little later. Um, I'll explain what the difference is. So uh, my point is that Going back to my original point, um, if you like the house and this is the house for you, you're positive it is the house for you, just go ahead and make an offer. I'm, as your agent, I'm not going to rush you. I'm just going to tell you the truth. And especially if the other agent let me know that they have other offers, I'm going to tell you that or they have other interests. I'm going to tell you that, but I'm not going to rush you into it. That is not my style. That's not my, you know, sales style. So I'm not going to rush you and rush you and tell you, well, you have to act now. If you want to take a day to think about it, that's you. But just know that by the time you come back, the house may be gone. Somebody else may have made an offer before you and the seller just accepted. Some sellers like to wait a day or two after they accept, um, after they receive an offer to see if they are going to receive any other offers. And some sellers, if that's exactly the offer they were looking for, they will just go ahead and accept it on the spot. So this is just how that works. So I would say if you find a house, especially a resale that you like, um, this is it. You take a few hours, you think about it. I think it's wise to just go ahead and make an offer. And also, this is not the market where you are going to make like low ball offers and um you know, just making lower offers, always be ready to make at least a full price offer. The good thing about our market here in Ocala, 
we are not where we are making way over ask, asking offers anymore um it was like that last year maybe it's going to be like that again but for right now i believe unless a house is like this is the house you want you fall in love with this house and you know there are other interests in it and it's listed at a price where you know there is more room and it will appraise hey and you want to offer more just to have a an edge over the other people or over your competition by any means go ahead and do that but my advice is always just you know offer full price unless the house is ridiculously priced full price is the way to go right now in this market um i have some buyers like they would say things like oh the door is dirty so i should make an offer ten thousand dollars less that's not that's not how that works <laughs> you're not gonna get it <laughs> and you certainly not going to have ten thousand dollars less because the door is dirty you know it's just that's not how that works at all um that's just how the market is right now there is no inventory so be ready to at least make a full price offer and if it's a house that's been on the market for a while and um you feel like you have that edge we can always make an offer but in most cases be ready to offer full price and um yes i'm going to cover the pending and active um issue right there so um the difference between active and pending before i go towards like a new build um active means the house is still on the market it's still available for sale and if you are on zillow for example and you're looking at houses for sale zillow take about i don't know takes about 24 to 48 hours to update the the, the status of a house so let's say uh, an agent is selling a house and they accepted uh, an offer on it they change the status the zillow is not going to show the status today when they change it the status change um it's going to show it maybe tomorrow or the next day that was my dog i'm sorry <laughs> and um so active means you still have a chance to make an offer to go look at the house provided that the agent hasn't you know just like just sit on it or hasn't changed um the status but if it's still active you have a chance right it's still for sale it's still anybody's grab if it's pending that means um someone else made an offer on it and then now they are going through the whole process before closing so pending mean they someone else made an offer on it the seller accepted the offer and now the agent the selling agent or the listing agent went into the system change it from active to pending and then the next step unless something happened the deal falls through then it goes back to active but if everything goes well and the person is like a um like a fha conventional loan or any other type of loan between 30 to 45 days and then you will see the status change again to sold because that means they went to closing at the title company and it's closed it's sold and there's nothing i can do <laughs> even when a home is pending there's really little I can do. All I can do is like monitor what's going on with the home. And if, if the deal falls through, then you have a chance to then um, make an offer or you can still make an offer if the other, if the listing agent is accepting backup offers or the seller is accepting backup offers, then you can make an offer but they will just hold on to it as a backup in case the first one doesn't work then yours will be as a backup but do you really want to be a backup offer though especially if you're actively looking and you have to move you have to move now then you don't want to be a backup offer you want to be like the offer that's on the table so those are the differences now does this only happen for resale houses no Recently, I was working with a buyer and um, there are several communities that they are building here in Ocala and uh, my buyer had a very specific timeline. They wanted to move by August of this year um, when the kids are out of school and all of that with their work. They have everything planned out. They want to move by August. 
and they told me exactly what they wanted. I delivered as usual and um, I, I gave them the house they wanted. I found it. And then when I showed it to them, they wanted to talk about it. They wanted to sleep on it. They wanted to then talk some more about it. And they just thought they had time because it's a brand new construction. Um, it's not even being built yet. So they thought they had time. By the time they made up their mind, that particular house was gone, <laughs> you know, because somebody else was looking at the same timeline. Someone was looking at that same model. And then now the next house in that community that they really wanted that was going to be ready was going to be 10 months from the time that they wanted. So that changed everything. So now there was nothing I could do. I couldn't go to the builder and say, well, my agent, my buyer was here first. If you are not under contract, it doesn't mean anything. If you talk to the, um, to the builder and you could talk every day, if someone else working, they have cash and they want that house, they will sell it because you haven't signed anything. You haven't committed to anything. And it looks like you can't make up your mind. So they are not going to let money walk out of the door for someone who is not committed to them yet. So that's just how that is. But if you find a house, you're ready. You're ready to go. Just go ahead and do it. That's my, that's my advice um, about that. So I would say even with new construction, sometimes it's available today and the next day it's gone like true story and that's mostly what we have to sell here so everyone who's looking are also looking at new construction very few people are actually you know staying loyal to resale because they know it's a lot of competition and etc etc and there may be like a, a bidding war you know there's still there are still bidding war depending on the house but if it's a new construction and we go straight to the builder. Let's say the builder is like D.R. Horton or Leonard or, you know, one of those. Um, all you have to do is go under contract and you're locked in. Once you're locked in, that's it. Nobody else can come and take that house from you unless you say you want to cancel. Then they will send you a cancellation and then they will put it back on the market and they will have no problem selling it. Now, there are conditions with canceling, though. So that's another video. <laughs> so I hope this was helpful for you. And, um, you know, if you have any comments, let me know um, in the comment section. And please subscribe to my channel. And let me know what you think. Any questions that you may have, uh, feel free to call me, email me. And as usual, I will post my information, my contact information in the description of the video. Just tap the little arrow and then you will see uh, my name, my, my cell number, my email address. Um, that's the description of the video and you can contact me anytime. All right, then thank you for watching and until next time, I will talk to you later. Stay safe out there.